Hello and welcome to Community Reports on Channels Television. Here we focus on stories, ideas, impacts and influences that shape or has shaped the corporate existence of our society. Today, we take you to Calabar, the Cross River State capital. Now, did you know that it costs about 700 million naira in costumes alone for the annual Africa's biggest street party? Oh, you call it the Calabar Carnival. Well, the governor of that state and the chief host, Mr. Ben Ayade, wants to reverse that spending by setting up a garment factory to help empower locals who will get employed and produce all the costumes that is required. Beyond that ambition, we'll get to see that the over a decade event isn't just a march passed by some dancers, but a deliberate government design to engender commerce for communities, boost tourism, the hospitality sector, from the state and also use it as a tool of social change. This is the story of Calabar Carnival with the theme, Climate Change. Nigeria is said to be blessed with diversity of language, people, culture, religion, tradition, norms, value, ethnicity, and many more. The uniqueness of these differences lie in the unity by the constituent groups and categories of people that make up the entity called Nigeria. As we journey through the paths and segments of the society which makes up the respective communities, we oftentimes find something interesting to tell about the strengths of the country's diversity. One of such adventure takes us to the Nigeria South South region and in specific Calabar, the Cross River State capital. Over the years, Calabar as a cosmopolitan community in Cross River has continued to be the reference point for everything work, business, governance and of course relaxation or play. Interestingly, rather than remain in sync with the protocol of a capital city, sometimes in 2004, the then governor of the state, Mr. Donald Duke, stringed a vision and it was how to make the city center a community that will attract men, women and children from all walks of life, both nationally and internationally, to see and feel the rich cultural and hospitality heritage of Cross Riverians as they are called in Nigeria's local parlance. The vision was clear from outset. The vehicle to drive it was also simple. Let's have a carnival. On the mind of the founding father, Mr. Donald Duke, and should I mention that, the tradition has carried on through two successive governments till date was the desire to empower locals using the instrumentality of celebration of their heritage. tallied with expectation that Calabar will become the hub of tourism and hospitality in Nigeria. Well, 
Today, 12 years on, that vision has life. The Calabar Festival in Cross River State, also ascribed as the biggest street party, has gone a long way by involving more experts of the local heritage, which has strengthened the capacity of community members drawn from various parts of the state to participate in an economically beneficial way. Beyond mere entertainment, the carnival's community spirit is the cumulative effort of many talented artists, musicians, costume designers, dancers and street performers. <music> Calabar Carnival has remained a display of African heritage showcased through music Dance, drama, and visual creativity, and that reflects quite audaciously and extravagantly in the floats, costumes, and makeup. 